Coming up on Hands On Tech, I'm gonna show you the Amazon Smart Oven. That's right, Amazon's trying microwaves again, and it only gets better. Hands On Tech is brought to you from Twit and the Twit LastPass Studios. Using the same password everywhere is a security nightmare waiting to happen. LastPass easily creates unique passwords for every site. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by Epson's EcoTank printers. Now you can kiss expensive cartridges goodbye. Check out EcoTank printers at epson.com slash ecotankleo. This is the Amazon Smart Oven. It's the $250 new take, the upgrade, if you will, of Amazon's microwave oven. This is actually more than just a microwave. It's an air fryer and it's a convection oven. I've made a pumpkin pie in here and it was delicious. So immediately I kind of want to talk about sort of what you get when you get this smart oven. Because again, we've got more than a microwave working here. First of all, it works with ALEXA, yes, Amazon's smart assistant, and lets you control it completely using your voice. But as you can see, it's got all the keys here so that you can make these adjustments even without having to use your voice. You kind of get to choose between which one you want. Now you can see right here on the display, there is that little Wi-Fi button and that lets me know it's connected and ready to be used. Interestingly, the Amazon Smart Oven does not have ALEXA built into it. It's a separate product that you can pair with the device, be it a small dot, or in this case, I'm using the studio as my connection. And we'll show that in just a little bit. But the device itself doesn't have that speaker. And I kind of feel it's, it's a couple things. For one, microwaves run at the same frequency as 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So if you're running the microwave and trying to talk to the device at the same time, you might run into some issues there. Secondly, this thing's gonna put out noise when it's running and it might disturb the microphones in the actual device. So they went ahead and said, hey, we're gonna kick it out. It's gonna be a separate thing. And when you buy one of these, you actually get to, to include an Echo Dot for free as part of your purchase. So what comes in the box? Well, and this I was very excited about, it starts with a temperature probe. That's right, you can roast a whole dadgum chicken in this thing if you want to. Of course, it has to be kind of a small chicken, but you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, recommend doing the Thanksgiving turkey in <laughs> the smart oven, but something smaller uh, definitely works. Then you get two separate metal stands. There is the small stand, and this here is for roasting. Uh, so you can place this inside, put your pan on top with your chicken in it, and go ahead and roast that bad boy. Put that down. And then the taller metal tray. Now this tray, this is for air frying. That's right, air fryers are kind of all the rage right now. And this can go ahead and cook up some French fries uh, if you've got those delicious but horrible for you, frozen egg rolls, it can do that, and so much more. Uh, and that is using this air fryer. Then, and it's my favorite thing, absolutely, this little tray right here. I've used this more than anything with the Amazon Smart Oven because it allows me to air fry French fries. I can use it to uh, cook a pie on top of it. I place it right in there. And you can easily uh, drop things in here. And this does a good job of collecting the heat, which is very important so that you kind of get an easy and uh, a very even distribution of cooking whenever you're using it. So those are the things that come with it. Let's talk a little bit about how it works, what it looks like on the inside, and uh, how you can do different things with the oven. Oh, and I should note too, and I quite like this, it fits all together into this one little tray. So they were smart enough to make it easy for you to stash this when it's not in use. So I'm gonna hide that away. I feel like we're on a cooking show together. All right. Let's talk about what's going on inside of here. So we open up the smart oven and you've got your basic glass tray uh, on which you can 
you know, place any food that you want to. It acts as a normal microwave oven. But you can see here on the side, it shows what these tiny, uh, or what these metallic trays are actually for. You air fry, you bake, and you convect. That's right, it's got a convection oven uh, using the tall rack. And then you can auto roast and keep warm with the short one. So if you have some food that's done before everything else is done, you pop it in here, you click keep warm, and it'll keep that food warm for you without it getting cold and gross and disgusting. Now, if you don't know what a convection oven is, it is the baker's best friend. A convection oven is the mixture of a normal oven, which uses the heating element inside of the uh, microwave oven to cook the food, but then in the back of the uh, smart oven is a fan, and that fan distributes heat evenly. So the fan gets going and spreads around all of the heat that the heating element at the top is putting out, making for a more even bake. I've made cookies in this oven, I've made pie in this oven, and I've made, oh golly, what was it? Um, scones, scones uh, in this oven and all of them came out much better than my normal oven do because of the fact that we've got a convection oven here. Uh, so this is quite nice. Now, it does get a little hot on top, and I may or may not have found that out the hard way by uh, having something plastic sitting on top of here. So that's something to keep in mind. This is an oven that you cannot place above uh, a normal oven. So some microwaves have, for example, a, an exhaust fan on the bottom of them. And so you'll get an oven, and then you get the microwave oven, it goes above it, and it serves as an exhaust fan for the oven. Not with this. This can be placed in cabinetry. Amazon actually sells a separate trim panel that you can use uh, to place it in a wall, but it cannot go directly above a normal oven, uh, particularly because of the way that it displaces heat uh, throughout the entire box. When you're microwaving, that's not an issue, obviously. Uh, but during the convection process and the air fry process, that is something that you need to be aware of. So don't set anything on top of here, particularly if it's plastic and can melt. That's uh, definitely an issue. Okay, so let's talk about how this connects with Amazon Smart Assistant, because that's really what sets the Amazon Smart Oven apart from the competition. Uh, again, you pair it with one or many of the devices in your home. So if you've got an Echo Show in the kitchen, for example, you could pair it with that. Or in my case, I have the Studio. And so I use this to communicate with the oven. I can also press this button and it automatically triggers this device to start uh, the conversation. So I'll hit that button. Reheat one cup of coffee. Microwaving one cup of coffee. It immediately starts to microwave the cup of coffee that of course is not in there at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop and we'll cancel it. Uh, you can set it up, this is kind of fun too, so that it announces throughout your home when the cooking process is complete. So it can say, hey, your cup of coffee is warmed, so that regardless of where you are, you don't forget that you've got that cup of coffee and have to rewarm it again. Uh, that's, that's kind of nice. I can also do something like this. Echo, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Preheating first oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you look here on the display, you'll see that up here it shows CONV, which stands for convection, and it starts to warm up the oven. When it reaches the temperature that I've set, which in this case is 350 degrees, it will go ahead and let me know, both on the device by beeping and through my devices in the home, so that I know the oven is ready and I can pop in a pie or whatever it is that I want to convection cook with the oven. And now I'll go ahead and hit stop and clear that out. And again, I wanna make it clear that you can also do many of these controls right here on the device itself. So those tools are available right there to auto roast, auto reheat, keep warm, etc. cetera. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how the temperature probe works. So we'll pop open the microwave oven again. And right there on the side is a port that we slide the probe into. Of course, you want to take off the plastic nib at the end of the port. I would stick that into a chicken or some other uh, meat that I was trying to cook and then hit the auto roast button and it will let me choose between different types of meat 
and what temperature I want them to be set to. Of course, it gives you the standard temperature for food safety. So that's a very handy way. I've used it, like I said, to cook chicken before uh, when <laughs> normally people would laugh about you sticking a chicken into a microwave. Again, this is the smart oven, so it will actually cook your chicken properly. And I have to say it made a pretty good roast chicken, though it could have been the spices that I added. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by Epson. Now you can kiss expensive ink cartridges goodbye. Epson's EcoTank comes with a ridiculous amount of ink, so you can print thousands and thousands of pages. It has supersized, easy to fill ink tanks, which means you will never hassle with buying or changing ink cartridges again. It's revolutionary, and it's changing the way people print. Less frustration and more time to work on business tasks that matter. Transform the way your home or office prints and do away with out of ink frustration. Go to epson.com slash ecotankleo and just fill and chill. Epson, exceed your vision. So let's talk about some of my favorite things uh, with this smart oven. Again, I cannot fail to mention how awesome it is to have an air fryer that also cooks things and microwaves them. So let's talk about that air fryer. I don't know about you, but uh, big portions are a problem for me, and I often have french fries that I bring home from a restaurant that, you know, just don't taste good when you microwave them. And I don't wanna wait for the oven to cook them, to heat up, get ready, and then cook them, and then they end up being sort of crispy in a bad way, they're dry. That's where the air fryer comes in. So, I just so happen to have some french fries here. Those look pretty good, but they are cold as can be and I want them to be cooked. I drop those onto the tray, pop this in here onto the tall rack, close it, and in this case, I'm gonna use the button here. So I hit air fry, and you see it says French fries. I'm gonna hit that one more time because these are closer to frozen fries. The first option is if you literally wanna cut up a potato and put some spices on it, stick it in there, which I have done before. Ooh, excellent fries. I hit start, it says how much, uh, how much French fry you got in there. I'm gonna say one cup, and then I'm gonna hit start. And then this process, this, this uh, timer here, includes the time that it takes to heat up to the proper air frying temperature, as well as how long it takes to cook the fries. So the first part is essentially warming it up, but the whole time it is air frying those french fries. So then by the time they come out, they're actually tasty as opposed to dried to potato crisps instead of the french fries that you want from the restaurant you were just at. What's one thing you wish every microwave would do and do correctly? Cook popcorn. You hate the smell of burnt popcorn. I hate the smell of burnt popcorn. We all hate the smell of burnt popcorn. And it almost seems like more of an art than a science on getting it right. Either you listen for the pops, the right amount, and then you, you take it out. But then you find there are a bunch of kernels in the bottom. Can we get it right? Well, I was really excited the other day to get a tweet from at Johnny Gizmo on Twitter, who said, the smart oven microwaved 2.5 ounces of popcorn Perfectly, not burnt, barely any unpopped kernels. I'm living in the future. Uh, I agree, this thing cooks microwave popcorn better than the standard microwave. So I could slide a pack in there. I can say, hey, please cook me a, a bag of popcorn and it will ask me how much. And in this case, it's three ounce bags and it perfectly cooks the popcorn with few kernels, that they don't go to waste. It's so nice living in the future. And my last and most favorite thing, the thing that gets me using this microwave oven instead of the one that actually came with my townhome is the auto reheat feature. So some modern microwaves have this feature and everyone should have the opportunity to use this. This is how it works. I take a plate of food, doesn't matter what it is. It's, uh, for example, this morning I used it. I had uh, a turkey dinner left over from the night before. It was in my fridge. I took that, I popped it into the microwave. I put uh, a covering over the top of it, like a paper towel, so it wouldn't splash all over the inside of the microwave. I tapped the auto reheat button, which says plate of food. So that says plate of food. That means any food. I hit start and it starts to cook the food. Now, how does this work? It has a sensor built into the microwave oven that will determine how much steam it can sense inside of the microwave. 
when there is enough steam and the steam is at the right temperature, then it knows that the food is properly reheated to kill any bacteria or other nasties that may be lingering inside between the cooling down and warming up process. So the food is properly warmed. It's not so hot that it'll completely burn your tongue off, but it is hot enough to where you kind of have to blow on it a little bit. But a perfectly warmed plate of food, regardless of what you put into it, that is the future we all deserve, and that is what this microwave provides. One other feature that I do want to mention, it's one that I think is a little clunky and is one of the uh, sort of downsides of this oven because of the fact that it is touted as this neat thing, uh, is the scan to cook option that Amazon Smart Oven has. And with certain foods, uh, Marie Callender's, Gardein, frozen vegetables from the Everyday 365 brand that's uh, part of Amazon's Whole Foods, as well as frozen entrees and frozen breakfasts and frozen snacks, all from the Everyday 365 brand, you can use your phone to scan the barcode on the food and then it will properly cook that food. Essentially, this is, the, this is the thing my little brother wished he had. He was the one who would come into the kitchen after you had cooked something in the microwave, and instead of just reading the package and reading the instructions, he'd ask you how long it needed to cook. He didn't want to read the back of the package, and so this would have been his feature, to be able to scan and have the microwave do all the thinking for him. This is the, the feature that this provides. But you have to have your phone with you and you have to launch into the ALEXA app and tap and tap and tap and tap until you finally find it and then finally you can scan. Maybe if they would have included a barcode scanner on the oven itself or maybe if you could say, hey, I'm trying to cook uh, an everyday 365 bag of tater tots or something like that, that would make the process something that I could get behind. But the scan option is just, it's too buried and I don't see a lot of people really using it. And the fact that they touted it as such a cool feature of the microwave oven is kind of a bummer to me. So that's honestly one of the letdowns of this. So if all that sounds exciting to you, you can get again the Amazon Smart Oven for $249.99. And if you've got Prime, it comes with free shipping. Uh, it also comes with, as I mentioned, a dot that you can use to communicate with it. You can buy the trim kit so that it can go into your cabinetry for $174.99, as well as a Braille keypad overlay for 99 cents that you can put over the top of here if you need that for the characters. Uh, that is the Amazon Smart Oven. That is a quick look at some of the things I'm enjoying about it, as well as some of the things that have been a bit of a bummer. But let me know your thoughts, and if there are more people out there who have this oven, or Amazon's first take on the microwave oven, let us know. You can tweet us at twit on Twitter. I'm at Micah Sargent on Twitter, or over on Instagram at twit.tv. You can also catch me on my show, Smart Tech Today. That's wit.tv slash stt, where I talk about this product and so much more, everything smart tech. And if you wanna help us out, you can do so very simply by heading to twit.to slash survey20. That will give you access to our listener survey. We're not gonna track you. You don't have to worry about plugging in your email. We just want a little bit more information about you so we can make better shows for you and our sponsors can be more informed about our audience. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time to put our hands on some more tech. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.